Ladies and gentlemen, the second fight of the evening is a middleweight contest between two rising stars that both attribute the ground game and aggressive attacks as their favorite styles. This promises to be a thriller. In the blue corner, hailing from the land down under, Queensland, Australia, and weighing in at 77 kilograms, it's Yen, the Hitman. Weighing in at 78 kilograms, it's Matt Delano! is a former soldier from the Royal Australian Army and he quit the army to start training MMA full-time. This man has already started to dominate the Australian MMA fight scene. He stands at 178 centimeters and weighs in at 77 kilograms with a professional MMA record of eight wins and three losses from Queensland, Australia and fighting out of the Tiger Muay Thai Gym in Phuket. Please welcome Ian the Hitman Bo! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, this man brings 20 professional MMA fights and is considered an all-rounded fighter with strong striking abilities. He stands at 186 centimeters and weighs in at 78 kilograms. With an official professional MMA record of 10 wins and 10 losses, he's traveled across the Pacific and is ready to take down his Australian opponent. Fighting for DC Train and from the Cornhusker state of Nebraska, USA, it's Matt! 
boy, these two look in great shape. Matt Delanoy has had 20 fights. He's won half of them. Very experienced. This is his fourth fight already this year. And Ray Elby, you've done a little bit of work with Ian Bone from Australia. You know something about him. Yeah, Ian Bone uh, arrived at Tiger Muay Thai four weeks previous to this fight. He's been training extensively at our camp. Uh, he had a bit of a battle with Pink Eye, but he should be well prepared for this fight. Well, you talk about preparation, Ray. Matt Delanoy flew in only last night from America, which is not the best preparation you can have before a tussle like this. We'll see how that pans out for him as the opening round Matt's a very gets tough, underway. Matt's a very tough fighter. I mean, of 10 losses, nine of them are against UFC A-level fighters. Um, so I'm expecting a brawl here. Yeah, the, the statistics of his record lie a little bit because uh, he's only won half of his contest, but the level of his opponents have been very high indeed, as you say there. Good stand-up work from both men. Delanoy in particular throwing in a good left-right combination to the head, but they're now in a grappling situation, pressed up against the cage. And a good right hand up inside from Delanoy to Bone's left cheekbone. That's well, convenient. <laughs> Delanoy definitely wants this mat onto the wants this match onto the mat. Uh, most of his wins have come via submission. His last win against IFL veteran Ray Steinbeis via toehold. But uh, Ian's well versed. He's here in a triangle position. If he can get that leg to pass through the arm, uh, back down to need to break the posture. Well, Delanoy switched that one to the mat just by lifting his opponent's leg off the canvas and pushing him off balance. Ian's doing a good job of using the fence to work back into his guard. As you can see, he's got a real high guard here. I'd like to see him try to break his posture a bit just so Matt can't rain down those large strikes. Anytime you're on top, when the opponent doesn't control your head, it gives you an opportunity to create more space. And as anyone that's grappled knows, the more space you have, the harder those strikes tend to land. And we've just seen two examples of those strikes. First a right hand and then a left hand, landing flush on the jaw of the Australian. Both men heavily tattooed. Thankfully, one of them has a shaven head. That's the Australian. So if you're unfamiliar with these two, you can now at least tell them apart as their limbs are wrapped around each other, trying desperately to get an advantage. Good guard here by Ian. He's still playing an aggressive guard. He shot several triangle attempts here. I'd like to see him try to break his posture just a bit so those large strikes aren't raining down from three, four feet above. Yeah, there really is quite a distance for those strikes, isn't there? As you say, three and four feet sometimes. Plenty of scope for uh, power to be built up in those blows. Ian working back into his feet here, looking for the single leg. But uh, Matt's doing a good job of countering this single leg by controlling the outside leg and hipping in on the sprawl. Good knee to the body there. Uh, it's all, everything counts, doesn't it? The knee into the body there. Extremely painful for the likes of you and me. These guys have taken it all before. Rear naked choke locked in here. There it is. The pat on the canvas means I'm done. I submit. What was it exactly that caused him to submit, Ray? Well, what happened was Matt did a good job of securing the back. He was able to place both legs in between Ian Bones' uh, midsection, which gave him position to secure the rear naked choke. Securing that arm underneath his chin closing off the serrated arteries. If Ian chose not to tap, what would happen is blood flow would be cut off to his brain, obviously stopping the flow of oxygen and forcing him to pass out. Matt Delanoy gets his 11th win of a 21-fight MMA career. Ian Bone just having a cut underneath his left eyebrow attended to, one of several problems that he experienced in that contest. He's also got uh, a welt underneath his right eye there as you look at him. A beaten man and you can see he's quite disappointed. With two minutes and 27 seconds remaining in round number one and by way of rear naked choke submission, the winner in the red corner, Matt Delano! Congratulations on a hard-fought victory.
Uh, how confident were you coming into the fight about controlling the tempo? Very confident. All I do is win, man. Well, you obviously proved it tonight. Uh, walk us through your strategy leading up to your uh, rear naked hold uh, submission. Well, I would have been more satisfied to ground and pound him, but he turned his back, so I took the choke. I think you guys probably would have liked to see him get a little bloodier, but, you know, I do what I do, man. I got to get that win. I didn't come halfway around the world to lose. Absolutely. First time here in Singapore. Isn't that right? Yeah, I love this country. You guys are beautiful. Give yourself a round of applause. Y'all look great. Hey, Matt, what's up next for you? Uh, I've got a title fight back in South Dakota, back in the U.S. in 10 days. So uh, I'm going to go take that belt home. All right, any words for your uh, friends and family uh, back home in the U.S.? I hope you guys can find this online somewhere. None of my family lives in Asia, but I'll get a copy. We can all watch it together. Thanks again, guys. Congratulations, Matt, again. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Delanois.